Hello everybody, this is Electronic Pro Seller from the iBoot team and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Rockminer R-Box using a Raspberry Pi. So you will need your Rockminer R-Box, a 12 volt 5 amp power supply for this, a USB mini data cable and you will also need a Raspberry Pi, an SD memory card, a modem and a HDMI cable and a keyboard. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is uh, go and download your Raspberry Pi um, Rock Miner software image and also download Win32 Disk Imager. so that you can copy the Raspberry Pi image to your micro SD card. So I've downloaded them both already. It's going to plug in my micro SD card to my computer. Luckily I've got a slot here. You might need a USB uh, drive to plug it into. Then uh, open Win32 Disk Imager. Yes, and then find your image that you want to copy to the SD memory card. Okay, so you want Raspberry Pi Rock Miner R box. Select the drive. My one is Drive E. Make sure you don't pick a hard drive. As you can see, my SD memory card is Drive E here. So pick Drive E, and then click. Right. Yes. So it may take a while, it's pretty slow. The Raspberry Pi image is uh, quite big. It's about 7 gigabytes, so it's a large image. Um, actually, this Raspberry Pi image is all compiled for you perfectly. So all the supporting libraries are already there for you. All the software is already installed for you. All you've got to do is write it to your um, SD memory card and you're ready to go. On top of that, it also has an... Um, a web user interface incorporated into the software. That means that once you set it up, you set up your Raspberry Pi, and then you can use your laptop to connect to the Raspberry Pi, and you can use that to modify the Raspberry, to modify the CG miner um, mining pool, etc. So you don't have to actually go into your Raspberry Pi anymore. So literally, you set up the Raspberry Pi once, and then um, you can log into the web user interface here to connect to the Raspberry Pi. And that's perfect. So that's all in this software here for you. So um, that's courtesy of Rockminer as well. Um, so we see Rockminer and iBoot were working together to try to provide the best user experience for all our customers. So this is going to take a while. And um, while this is writing, maybe I'm going to set up the Raspberry Pi now. So we'll be back in a short time. So we finished writing the Raspberry Pi image to our SD memory card. So now we can uh, pop it out. Here's my SD memory card, it's got my software on there already and we're going to plug it into the Raspberry Pi and connect up the miner. So let's do it. Okay, so now I have my Raspberry Pi all connected up correctly. I've uh, put in the SD memory card with our uh, software on there. I've uh, connected it up to a HDMI cable that's connected to my TV this time. Uh, I plugged it into my modem, into my Ethernet cable, which is plugged into the modem here. Uh, I've connected it to a keyboard, and I've also connected it via mini USB to my uh, rock miner here, my RBox rock miner. So it's all ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in the power cable. Today I'm powering it from my 19 port depot hub. It should be should give enough power. So let's give it a try. Let's be Pi's take a micro USB cable to power them. Great, so I powered, plugged it in. And here we go. It's loading up, lovely. Great, so the first thing you will see is it asks you for the Raspberry Pi login. So 
eye. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there we go. Now we've logged in perfectly. Great. So actually, this uh, Raspberry Pi software it has its own rock miner um, interface for communicating with the Raspberry Pi which you can do over your um, network so we can do that for, via our laptop so just get your laptop connect your laptop to the same modem that the Raspberry Pi is connected to now the default um, the default IP address for the Raspberry Pi is uh, let me check it out it is um, one nine two dot six eight dot one dot two five four. So we want to connect to this Raspberry Pi now so we can set the mining pool and all that stuff. So if I put it in here, you'll see it won't work. So what we have to do, we have to go down to our uh, internet settings. So click here, internet settings, open network sharing center and then find the LAN settings, the so local area connection click on it go properties then go to internet protocol version 4 IPv4 properties and then say use the following IP address so change this to an IP address that's similar to the Raspberry Pi now so 192 166 Eight, one, and then our Raspberry Pi is one, two, five, four. So we'll just set our one to uh, one, two, two, two. Why not? Okay, submit mass. Okay, click OK. So now we'll be able to connect to the Raspberry Pi. Try again. Great. And now we're connected to the Raspberry Pi as we should be. So first thing you've got to do, see we're in the uh, Raspberry Pi Rock Miner web uh, user interface. So where we can control our Rock Miner devices. So first thing you want to do is go to set IP. Okay. So the IP is currently set at 192.168. Dot one dot two five four, and we want to set it to our own local IP. So to do that, go here, go start, go command, command prompt, open command prompt. Get in here, type uh, IP config. Okay, so I see here my IP address is actually 192.168.8.3. So now I'm going to set the IP of the Raspberry Pi to something similar to that. So I have the first three numbers the same and the last number different. So here we go, where's my Raspberry Pi interface? Here it is. So change it to 8. Change the gateway to 8 as well. So it'll be different for your one, but my one is 192.168.8 and then I put 254 and the gateway is like that. Click update. Okay, we'll just time out now because we're not connected anymore. So now when we try to um, go to this IP address, it won't work because we've changed it. So put in your new IP address for the Raspberry Pi. There we go, I'm back in. So I've got my IP set. Uh, DNS we can leave. Sync time. Should be fine. Alright. Minor config. Great. So now put in your pool one address. So your pool address, your pool worker, and your pool password. We have a second one here in case the first one fails. Once you do that, just click update. It says must reboot to apply new settings. Then what you do is uh, check status. Click here, start check.
these should all go blue. So for example here you can see um, it says one blade is connected, that means one rock miner is connected down here with my power supply. Um, the system time's correct, network's okay, delay's okay, okay. So now I'm going to go click here, reboot, and it will reboot my Raspberry Pi. So while that's rebooting, um, we'll be able to log back in here in a second and it will just start mining for us. There you go. And then we can disconnect the laptop, disconnect the HDMI cable and just leave the Raspberry Pi here. Um, happily mining away with the R box, which is great, right? Let me change back the uh, network settings now. So open up your network sharing center again. Go to your uh, local internet connection. Properties. IP protocol. Four properties. Okay, so you obtain address automatically now, we don't need that anymore. Click OK, or else it will stop you from going to the internet normally. Okay, now let me log into my Raspberry Pi. Remember I set the IP to 192.168.8.254. Great. And here you can go, and it's actually connected now. And it has some stats here for me. So at the moment, the average is 22 giga hashes. Oh, and we have 38 giga hashes, five second average. So now it's happily uh, hashing away. If you click on devices here on the side, it will tell you how many devices are connected. RMU, that's the code for rock miner. Uh, it's alive, enabled. That's what the average is down here. And the speed, speed's updating here as you can see, so just give it a while, it'll warm up. So that's it, now we're happily mining away. So uh, that's great, so what I can do now is I can disconnect my HDMI cable from here, uh, just leave the Raspberry Pi connected to the network, and every time I want to log in and change my settings on the Raspberry Pi, I don't have to touch the Raspberry Pi, just go to my laptop and I type in the uh, IP address of my Raspberry Pi and I can change the settings here. And so that's the end of my guide. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, if you want, you can go buy a Rockminer R box right now from uh, www.iboot.com. Um, Rock Miner R box is supported by BFG Miner, CG Miner, and it works with Windows, Linux, Raspberry Pi, and Mac OS. So, thank you for watching, and happy mining. Bye bye.